Hi everyone, I know you guys are here because uh, you wanted to know about the Amazon interview experience or you guys have an Amazon interview ahead. So I went through my Amazon interview last month. So I'm going to share all the details, how the interview process went, what leadership principles they asked and how intense was it. So I'm going to share all the details regarding the Amazon interview, my personal experience. So let's get started. I know you guys wondering like how I got into am like Amazon interview. So Amazon is one of the biggest tech companies out there. Like it's one of the fan companies and getting an interview itself is a huge win for me. So yeah, uh, I applied for front end engineering new grad role and I received an online assessment link after one week. So I was excited for the assessment. You know, it's a usual hacker rank assessment. It consists of two uh, coding questions and some set of behavioral questions. Uh, there's two coding questions they asked me in the online assessment. The first one was uh, what we say Amazon phone directory question, which consists of a form uh, having name, email ID and a phone number. When we submit the form, it should add those details to the phone directory and display those results as a list. So it was a easy to medium question, I, say, I would say, because we need to write the functionality of the form validation and submitting all those functions. Uh, so yeah, it took me like 15 to 20 minutes to get past the question. And the second question was accordion. You know, you got, yeah, I mean, uh, for the front end side, you guys all know what is accordion. It's like a, a data hiding in a, what we say, like a tab. So it was very easy question. I did those two questions and the follow-up was like six to seven behavioral sort of questions. It was like not the typing part, they gave me some options to choose. So after completing the, completing the online assessment, I was a bit nervous because I know it was two simple questions they asked. So I thought they might not select me. So after waiting a week, I, got, I received the mail for the next round, which was like phone screen interview. So I was happy to receive <laughs> the mail. So I was happy to receive this next process mail uh, and I was excited for the phone screen technical round uh, which was like six, around 60 minutes and they gave me like three dates to choose which day I'm available for the interview so I choose one of those dates and for I have like five days for my interview so I did grind up all the lead code questions and behavioral questions they gave me a link uh, which has like Amazon LPs it, they consist of like 12 to 15 Amazon leadership principles which we can find in their website too. Like uh, it gave me a good brief idea how behavioral questions gonna be in the Amazon and how can how can they ask us on what type of principles. So yeah, and there was a method like to answer the behavioral questions. It was like star pattern, which is a famous pattern to answer the behavioral questions. It, it consists of like situation, task, action, and result. So yeah, I followed those patterns and prepared like a I'm going to give you guys a suggestion because uh, it is easy to prepare for yourself. Uh, make sure you go through your previous projects in your work experience and prepare like 15 to 20 behavioral questions like from your own projects and your work experience because it helped me to go through all those uh, behavioral questions asked in the interview. So yeah, I would suggest you guys prepare like 15 to 20 behavioral questions from your past experience and keep a note or notion file separately with those questions. It gets easy to prepare for your future interviews as well. So after preparing like five days and going through all of all sort of questions and preparing myself for the phone screening round. And there was this thing I searched online about Amazon phone screen interview. There was no, uh, good detailing about those things. So I was confused how the interview is going to be like, it, it consists of coding questions or behavioral questions or like just a phone screen call. I was a uh, bit in a confused state, but uh, let's see whatever happens. I should be prepared for all those things. So yeah, uh, on finally the day of interview arrived, I was ready and I received a link stating that you should join this call. There was a, there was this app called Chime, Amazon Chime. This is the platform where all those uh, Amazon interviews are held up. 
like they have a separate platform like zoom it's i mean it's similar to zoom they call it chime so yeah i joined the call and the director was very friendly so just she she started with a brief introduction like self introduction both of us like what she was doing what what her role is and i started like with my introduction i recently graduated and i am applying for this jobs i have like previous internship experience not not like a real software uh, full time experience so yeah she was like very friendly and she started with uh, the coding question which was like tab switching in uh, front end side you guys know like i mean it's a simple question so yeah she gave me like half an hour for the technical question i did uh, finish up in 15 to 20 minutes the tab switching and she was yeah yeah she was like okay you did you did well with the technical don and she followed up with two amazon leadership principle questions which was one of them was like uh, how do you overcome the project deadlines so i know this thing so i prepared like uh, five days grinding through all of these questions so i uh, i prepared this question in my uh, notes also so yeah i did give her like a brief uh, categories like situation action, uh, action task and result she was like bit impressed with my way of approach and then she finished the interview and she winded up winded it up saying yeah you did well and so yeah i was happy that i performed well in my front screen interview so yeah this was the experience of online assess uh, after the online assessment technical round i uh, just ended up the call and yeah you know <laughs> uh, it feels like ages to get the results even though uh they it it uh, you get the results in days but it feels like ages for us to get those results yeah so after finally a week i got the mail <laughs> saying that you are selected for the final three rounds so i was like wow really i made it through the initial stages the main part comes here <laughs> the, like there was a mail consisting of three technical rounds about 60 minutes back to back each so yeah i was like oh my god three technical rounds the two back to back each like having a 15 minutes gap between those three rounds like was way a uh, bit uh, like what we say tension for me so yeah and uh, in the mail they stated me like uh, three dates to choose on which day i am going to have the three technical rounds so i did choose like the first day because he never missed the opportunity in this type of things so yeah i would suggest you guys to choose the earliest date they give you because if you don't choose some other guy choose the earliest date if they perform well they will go with that guy so i would suggest you to choose choose the earliest date available when they give you the options so i did choose the earliest date and it was like five days same five days uh from the day i did choose so yeah i did prepared like 75 hard lead code questions for my technical round and i went through all my javascript i had notes with me so i did well i didn't went through all my javascript notes and react notes and it was like oh man it was like very intense like i didn't sleep well i mean i did sleep well but not as good as <laughs> really so i i did with i did prepare well for this job and after five days this the day arrives where my technical interview round starts so yeah i know you guys are waiting for what kind of questions they did ask in technical round so yeah <laughs> and this is uh, this role is mainly for front end engineering so that keep that in mind this is not for the sd roles or other roles so yeah uh, the interview was around 10 am in california time so the first round was at 10 am i joined the call the recruit i mean the interviewer joined the call and we greeted each other and just asked how how day is going and i tell i am i was excited for the interview and i am feeling happy to get this opportunity for me and he did seem well uh, like very good and friendly he did ask me uh, like he did say me like how this uh, going to be like what kind of things i'm going to ask you like he said i'm going to give you 30 minutes for the coding and this 30 minutes for the behavioral type so yeah i got good understanding of how this round going to be and he started with the one coding round which was focused on front end side uh 
oh my god like uh, i felt luck because he asked against the same thing accordion which was uh, on my online assessment so i felt like very happy but this time he asked in uh, do, to do a react component in this so yeah i did went with my react also so i i didn't feel any nervous i started building the component and i built it and main advantage with the amazon technical round is you don't need to compile the program and show them the results because uh, they just give you a link and need to type the code like it's a just the set you need to type the code and show us show them it's there is no compilation or running the program over there so <laughs> it's a it's a bit easy for us because we don't get any errors <laughs> so yeah it was easy and i did the component and he was like pretty impressed with it follow up with the two amazon leadership principle questions one was like tell me a time where you uh, exceed your expectations on the project like you impress your manager or team lead so yeah i i prepared for this question too like uh, in the star pattern so yeah i did give him a brief like keep in mind don't give him like a big long answer your answer should be like 15 5 minutes not like exceeding 5 minutes so yeah after that he asked me with the second question which was like uh, tell me a time where did you handle the pressure like keep keeping the deadline close and how did you finish the project in time so yeah it's the same thing following the star pattern i was prepared for this question too because it's a similar questions all they ask us so yeah i did perform well in this behavioral questions too he was impressed with me and i wish me all best of luck for the next upcoming two rounds so we ended up the call here and i was like happy on cloud 9 like i was i did perform really well and uh, they have 15 minutes break so i went to the restroom and take a break drink some water and and here comes the second round i started getting like in like tensed and the time came i joined the call the rec- uh, and i was waiting for the interviewer to join the call it's been 5 minutes i was waiting still and after 10 minutes i was wondering like uh, i mean i did perform well in my first round and what happened like there is no interviewer joining my call uh, am i <laughs> i mean am i hooked up with the process or else what's happening with this thing i was too much uh, confused with this thing after another 5 minutes finally the interviewer joined like thank god <laughs> and he was like uh, i was in a busy task because you know uh, this is the time we have productions in amazon so i forgot about the interview i was like man how can you forgot about the interview like it's okay then no problem we'll get start with the we have only 45 minutes so we'll get start with directly with the questions then he directly de- uh, he directly uh, got into the question like coding question he asked me about Uh, like a dsa question like it's a it's like a link uh, linked list like data structure so he wanted me to build a linked list which consists of like uh, links history in like you know you all guys know like histories in our chrome tab or amazon like when we click forward and backward buttons we'll go through those pages so how you're going to design those component in react he asked me to build a data structure for it so yeah i did ask him some questions where i am getting the data do i am getting the data from api or else how am, how am i going to receive the data and how should i give the, give back the data and he explained me well and i did it in like around 25 minutes so he was okay with it like not fully satisfied i don't know because he was in all those uh, mixed up with his production uh, full time job i don't know but then he asked me with one leadership principle question which was like what we say how you going to deal with your colleagues when they are not completing their task on time and keep uh what we say keep building the tension about the project deadline and completing the project so yeah i did uh use my previous experience and give him a brief answer about it he did seem okay with the answer and he winded up the interview after the interview i was like uh neutral about this process because he did join late and he was like too confused with the process i was like a oh, man i did didn't do this well so yeah i i was just sitting around there around 15 minutes and thinking about the second round at last after 3 minutes uh, before the third round i thought like 
whatever happens i'm going to give, give give my best with the third round so yeah it was on time the interview joined the interview joined this call on time uh, and he was like very friendly uh, did he did greet me and i also greet him with uh, we exchanged like a introduction about ourselves and he was very friendly and he said yeah you know, you know how this interview is goes like i said like uh, yeah i have been doing all last two rounds with this so yeah i know how this thing works so he was like yeah okay then we'll get started with the coding round so i'm going to give you one coding question uh, i'm going to give you like half an hour of the time so you can uh, just shoot me questions if you have any on the coding thing so he gave me like uh, a form submission validation like uh, it was on the front end he was focused on the front end he was like uh, he, w- he wanted me to test my front end side designing part so yeah he gave me a form with a form validation and uh like it was easy question but uh mainly we should focus on all those things like all the kind of areas when we are doing a question because it, uh he i mean i forgot about this thing i was forgot about the accessibility features when we design a components in the front end side so yeah uh after designing the form he asked me like a uh, couple of follow up questions in the technical thing and uh, i asked him like uh, did i miss anything so he suggested me like you have missed a, an accessibility feature in this form so you should do this thing like oh shit i mean like <laughs> it's a thing i forgot about it so he said that's okay it's a good thing so he asked me like two follow up questions with the amazon leader leadership principles all those things like one was the time uh when did you deliver like deliver a project for your customer and he was happy with it like how did you go through the process like and uh, other question was like how did you deal with your unsatisfied client or customer how did you resolve the issue like uh man like these were the questions uh, on leadership principles i did give him like a good answer like because i prepared well for my behavioral questions so yeah i did perform well in third round i was happy with it and he was also seems like very good and don't forget to ask questions uh, uh the inter- i mean at the last of the round at the end of the round don't forget to ask interviewer uh like some prepare some questions to ask them because it give you a good uh, understanding how your job role going to be and uh, you can make a good impression with the interviewer also because they going to make the choices so yeah don't forget to ask some follow up questions to them i did ask some follow up questions he was like very good answering them he was very comfortable i did ask them like how your project is going like uh, how, are you happy with the amazon and how is the work culture over there so, so he did explain me well like he's been working over there in this project like 6 months and he was working on the alexa so i was like wow really have an have an alexa uh echo in my home so yeah we did discuss a little bit then later he wished me luck uh we did we did ended ended this call man yeah this was the technical round experience as you guys think wondering like there is no system design <laughs> around in this because it's a new grad role and it was on front end side not sd and they didn't focus i mean it was an entry level role so they didn't focus on system design thing so i felt like bit luck because i didn't prepare for this thing also so yeah uh yes imagine clearing all those rounds and waiting for weeks to get your results and the mail says yeah unfortunately we decided we decided to move forward with other candidate man this like i had these things and he i mean i had this thing with amazon also and all other companies because they don't give you feedback it was a bit intensing uh, experience with the amazon so this was my experience dealing with the amazon interview so yeah i did well uh let me know uh, if you have any questions regarding the uh, interview process or you wanted to know more how the things are uh, i mean you know all those sort of things so yeah you can shoot me the questions in the comments i i'm going to reply you back with how can i help you all those things i mean i'll give my best to help you guys i am preparing myself for other companies so yeah i'll keep you guys posted with if any other fan company interviews